All right, so I have a 2007 Chevy Impala, and it tends to shake while braking. Sometimes worse than others, sometimes not. So I'm gonna first try changing out the rotors, see if that helps. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. First thing you're gonna do is break all your lights loose on your wheel. You wanna find a good jacking point? Jack it up. Get the tire off the ground. Alright. Gonna raise your wheel. Once you get the wheel off, you want to jack it up a little bit more. Enough to be able to get a jack stand underneath here subframe that way it takes the jack the size to get out you got something to catch it so there's two 13 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper in place right here the center section so let's go ahead and get that removed you can set it here like that, but I don't want it to fall and rip my brake line, so I take a big zip tie and we'll wrap it around that coil the spring. And then that way it will hang right there, not putting any pressure on the brake line. Little pads off. See that they're almost used up. I do have a new set. I'll show you those in a second. So this is going to be old versus new. You can see there's a lot more pad life left on the, or on the new ones compared to the old ones. Okay, now on the back of this bracket right here. There's two 15 millimeter bolts that hold this bracket on. It is red lock tied it on, so they are a little snug. Okay, brackets off. All right, and then you have a T30 star bit. Around in this around this rotor right here. Just one. And there's the bolt. You should be able to slide your rotor off. Sometimes they're a little bit of a fight. All right, here is the new rotor. I took it outside, sprayed it down with some brake clean because they do come with a oil film on them. So you don't want that to make it where you can't stop. Uh, I'm, uh, I don't know for sure if it makes a difference on which one you line this up with. But it doesn't look like it makes a difference. And I do blue Loctite this bolt back in, just to precaution so it doesn't back out. Get that decently snug. <clears throat> there we go. All right. And now we'll put the bracket back on. There's the two bolts. Here's the bracket. And I do... Also, the factory had red Loctite, so I am also going to put red Loctite back on it. Done. 
Pasang. Okay, both of those are snubbed up. back on. Right, so now you can set the new brake pads in place. Okay, so take the old brake pad, put it on there, and then you're gonna take your seat clamp. You wanna line it up, and then you just gotta crank it down, and it will push these pistons back in. You gotta, you gotta alternate sides a little, but. Once you have it compressed all the way, you'll just put it back on over these, over your new pads, like that. And then you'll just want to reinstall these bolts to hold everything on. I'm just gotta tighten them back up. Now we're just going to put the wheel back on. Alright, so I removed the jack stand. Now we can look over the car down. Jack. Double check the tightness of the locks. And we'll take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and go follow us on TikTok at GM underscore junkie for more car content.